to me uh, Cube Talk 9x um, or X9 uh, tutorial. So basically, I thought I'd create this tutorial because um, there's loads of documentation out there in to install a custom ROM, but um, it took me ages to work it all out. Um, not to say the documentation was bad, but um, it was a little bit difficult. So I thought I'd create this to help every guy, everyone on the uh, Freak Tabs forum. Um, first of all, I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone on there. Um, and in this tutorial, which will be made up of several parts, I'm going to show you how to install a custom ROM on a KubeTalk uh, 16 gigabyte version. Um, I've got a white 16 gigabyte version with the latest stock firmware of 2.0. Now, the first thing to do is kind of why do you want to install a custom ROM? What's the point, right? Um, I've been using a stock ROM all till now, and it's it's been fine um, to be honest. But the real reasons are that. I wanted to use an external keyboard and because the way your KubeTalk firmware is set up you can't actually configure the keys and all the different keys come up differently etc. Now thanks to Lepi he created a fix for this um, and installed it on his custom ROM. Now a custom ROM really is kind of you gotta ask the question what, what's it gonna do for you? For me it's obviously enhanced features, there's better bug fixes, customizations, um, you know, I can't thank these guys enough, Leppy, Brian, etc., for all their hard work on this. And um, you know, they—it's almost the ROM is a better supported really than the stock ROM. Okay. So before we start, I'd like to say a big thank you. I got all my information, majority of my information from Freak Tabs. Um, thanks to Leppy, Brian, Volcane, Guccini, AC0935P, and everyone else that contributed. Uh, like I said, no no credit to me. I'm just making this video on their behalf because I used all their information to flash my tablet with the uh, custom uh, ROM. Um, if you use any of these guys' inf stuff or if you're reading this, please donate to them. Uh, their links are all kind of here. Um, and buy them a beer just to say thank you. I did. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so prerequisites for this is first thing you've got to do is put your tablet in USB debugging mode. Um, you know, everyone should know how to do this by going into their settings. Okay, next, download the KubeTalk X9 ROM kit version 1. Um, this zip, this is a zip I created. Basically, it's a folder structure of everything I found all over the internet to get my tablet from unrooted to stock ROM to rooted stock ROM as uh, rooted custom ROM okay um, what you'll also need is a micro SD card uh, basically this is so you can make a backup of all your stuff currently to your SD card I suggest use using titanium backup um, and also the reason not to back up to internally is we're going to repartition our app space as you know the KubeTalk comes with 2 GB of app space which isn't really enough um, these days and we're going to increase that to 6 GB. Okay, next, get your custom ROM. Um, within my zip, I'm not going to include any ROMs. Um, I will be using Lepi's ROM um, for uh, based on version 2.0 of the software, and it's our 15th 03rd 08. Okay, but head over to Free Clubs, um, Free Tabs, and you can see the link here. Um, if I go to it now you can see um, Volcano has done a great job of putting all the stock ROMs, custom ROMs, recoveries, etc. Brian's ROMs, everything in kind of one place for you guys to kind of use, right? So thank him very much for that. Um, and I use this a lot in order to um, get my tablet to where it is and obviously make this tutorial. Okay, so the, so once you've done that, um, downloaded the, the downloaded the ROM you need or you want okay put it into um, this folder structure now once you've extracted the zip put it put the zip of the ROM into this folder custom ROM zip and additional fixes and any additional fixes that you might have want so I downloaded the uh, USB keyboard layout one so I can get the right keys um, onto my um, for external keyboard mappings and um, also extract only the uh, custom ROM to this folder, uncompressed ROM. Okay. So what are we going to do the, through this tutorial? So first of all, we have to root our device. Can't do anything without rooting, right? The tablet comes 
unrooted. So we're going to root that and I'm going to take you through the steps in this first tutorial on that. Next we're going to install the pre um, the preloader drivers. Now to be honest this is the part that took me the longest to do um, and you know I think I've got it down but you know if anyone suggests a better way of doing it please uh, let me know um, and also you can um, search the internet there's loads of stuff on Google on other XDA forums etc on how to do this. Next I'm going to take you through how to use uh, MTK Droid tools and this is going to be what we use to back up our current ROM and create a scatter file. Now the scatter file is going to be what we use for during the flashing process to point us to all the bits of the ROM within the backup, uh, backup uh, folder as well as uh, to the new kind of recovery that we want to install etc. At this point you can back up your IMIE number um, you know I'd suggest doing this at any time um, at the very least you can put in star hash zero six hash and get the IMEI number up um, um, otherwise you can use the the tool in order to back up the um, um, the IMEI number okay next we're going to go through uh, SP flash tools uh, we're going to use SP flash tools in order to um, add twerk recovery now I've used Leppy's version of twerk recovery which I will include in this zip thanks um, thank you to Leppy I hope you don't mind and basically this mod recovery allows you to install uh, future updates future ROMs uh, without going through this whole process and it doesn't require any anything that too difficult once it's all on there we're then going to partition our 6G um, our internal drive so we have 6 GB of app space and whatever left over will be for internal space like I said this is tested on a 16 uh, GB um, uh, tablet if you've got a 32 I think it should still work uh, Brian Brian's who originally created the um, files uh, has a 32 okay next we're going to boot into after that we're going to boot into twerp recovery and we're going to install the rom and keyboard fix right um and this is the same procedure for, uh, you would use for any kind of any up future update that you you know leppy might create or someone else might create so the reason i'm creating this is to make it kind of all in one place um to to get you started uh, you know please do enough googling uh, your own research etc okay first thing to do is backup 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 you know I'm not responsible for anything that happens to your tablet this process worked for me on my 16 gig but you could brick yours I actually did brick my laptop um, doing another procedure um, but luckily I was able to use the stock ROM in order to get it back to its uh, current state uh, back to its uh, kind of a factory state um, which was you know a big relief for me if you guys want me to do a video on that I'll let me know and I'll try and do one for you okay so before we get started let's let me take you through the zip okay so the zip as itself is made up of kind of five steps right so the first step is the root okay how to create root now we're going to um, first you're going to need to inst uh, put this onto the root of your SD card and we're going to follow this procedure here by going to settings about system update we're going to set like local confirm update and press yes I'll take you through the procedure shortly uh, so you guys get an idea I've already done it but you know we, it'll be quicker if I just kind of take you through it next we have our preloader drivers so once we've rooted our tablet we can install the drivers in order to in preloader mode so that all the drivers for the different versions of Windows are all kind of in here I'm using Windows 764 and in order for us to start off with a clean slate I, we're going to use USB device um, delete drivers there's a 32-bit uh, and 64-bit version here and basically that helps us delete all the ex existing drivers that are installed on Windows so we can start fresh you know uh, please donate to the creator of the app um, you know he's put effort into it and you can go to his site and donate via there because it's a it's a free app uh, after that we got MK, MTK Droid Tools now we're going to use this obviously to back up our ROM and create our scatter file and next is the SP Flash tool now there are several folders in here I've included uh, the twerp 2.8.5 mod from Leppy 
um, in the in the um, zip itself but I am not going to um, put any um, uh, any other ROMs in here at all so please place once you download the ROM you want please place the ROM in here and any additional fixes okay one thing to note when downloading your ROM, make sure you check the serial number because, you know, Lepi always says only flash from this serial number onwards. You can find the serial number on the back of your uh, tablet. Once you do that, put an uncompressed version of the um, zip or ROM into here because we're going to need that as part of the flashing process. And then you've got SP Flash Tool, which is kind of the latest version that I use okay we'll be using and that works here now that also kind of comes with its own problems etc hopefully we shouldn't encounter them any um, on this tutorial next we have the app space repartition for 6gb <coughs> now there's two files in here this should like i said it's been tested on for myself on a 16 gigabyte version but um should work for a 32. if it doesn't just go back and uh, flash the your, your tablet won't boot go back and um, flash the uh, stock uh, EBR files right? and you should be back on back to where you were okay <clears throat> so the last folder is not really part of this tutorial um, it's basically just for things to muck around with boot and if you want to change your boot animation um, there's a tool to change the boot logo um, which is part of the firmware and requires flashing um, and you can change charging files and other things you know to whatever you want I've also included a mobile uncle tool uh, Windows desktop version um, basically it's in another language when you open it it allows you to back up your IMEI number um, it's pretty simple just type yes on the first one put your uh, put your, uh, your IMEI number in there and press enter you have to do that twice and I think it creates a backup file I haven't actually tested this process but there is also a version on the um, the uh, Play Store that you can download also. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing to do, let's bring up the instructions. I'm going to root the device. So go to the root folder in my zip. Copy these two files, or copy the folder, or copy just yeah, to the external SD card. Um, onto the root, right? So it must be on the root. The update.zip needs to be on the root, okay? Once on there, eject the drive, you know, don't pull it out. You wanna keep your file integrity as, you know, as best as possible. So please eject um, and then put it into your tablet, okay? Now once in your tablet, let's go to Go to your settings, scroll, about, system update, local, then press confirm and what this will do, it'll, it'll ask you to confirm do you want to update now, click yes. Now as I said I've already installed, at this point the tablet will reboot itself and it will go into recovery and start installing the system update. Right? Once your tablet comes back alive again. go into your apps and you can download root checker from the play store and you could do a check and it should say access granted okay you can also check for su root now there are probably three different versions i've seen of the routing tool so su root super user and king user um, i don't know the difference between all of them um, but I know that SU root, it you know, it does the job. A super user does the job pretty well, uh, um, as well as a uh, uh, super SU. So once it's done, they'll ask you to grant access, etc., to different different apps. Always, you know, um, to give root access. So you can check here. Okay. You can also do if you wanted to do, you can do an update, etc., from from going down below. Okay. So now we've done that. I think we'll uh, pause for the time being and we'll start on our second part of our tutorial in a minute. Thank you.